We knew. We had confidence going into the second and third game. We knew we knew we had something that we were, we were trying to accomplish, and we did. Austin, you guys, a lot of you were number one, all number one recruiting classes. You're number one preseason. You won the SEC title. You won the tournament. You're the top seed heading into Omaha. What's it like to play with a bullet on your back all year? How did you guys get through that, especially with the multiple elimination games? I mean, even without the seeding, I think Vanderbilt baseball just has an automatic target on your back. But I mean, we just try to center ourselves. We don't try to think about all the rankings and stuff like that. We just try to work on progressing on a daily basis as a team. And I think that's what we did. I think that was that was key to this whole entire run was just our focus on trying to get better on a daily basis. Um, at the end of the day, we just play our game, and our, our game is good enough. You mentioned uh, Forbes. A lot of people are saying he's like the Nick Saban of SEC baseball, and they're comparing this team to one of the great collegiate baseball teams of all time for one season. I mean, how does it feel to hear those kind of accolades? I mean, you see, you see him through the results. I mean, he's completely turned this program into something special. And it's uh, even as a kid, you know, just, I was oh, I always looked up to Vanderbilt. This is always where I wanted to be, and to be able to be here and accomplish these things with uh, Vanderbilt on my chest, it's, it's a true honor. I mean, Coach, Coach Corbin is the best college baseball coach, period. That's, that's just what it is. Not even just his coaching tactics, just the person that he is and how he cares for his players and how he teaches us to become men, I to say. But this is, he's a special guy, and this is a special program. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 These fans are great. Uh, it's a lot more people than I thought they were going to be. So. You're a hometown boy, right? I mean, this is, I mean, this is what you dreamed when you came here? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I remember watching the College World Series when I, was, when I was little and watching Vanderbilt in it and just wanting to be there one day. And, you know, the past two weeks have just been surreal. Yeah, I was talking about 15 days ago, you guys laughed and often said it felt like a month in Omaha. Uh, the, the award was a national championship, but that's a grind, isn't it? Yeah, um, you know, it, it's it's the pinnacle of college baseball. So you're there for two weeks, but I mean, you're enjoying every second of it, and it's an amazing experience. I, I definitely thought I was there for a month, but it was it was worth it, and it was awesome. Coach Corbin were, is uh, he's at the top of this. What does he mean to you and your teammates? I mean, he's he's like a, a dad to all of us. Um, you know, the the investment in us as players, as men. Everything about him just speaks volumes to, to who he is and everything about our team. And, um, you know, we wouldn't be here without him. You dream about that final out in the dog pile when it actually happened. What was it like? Yeah, I mean, I was I was just telling them upstairs that dog piles, you know, the catchers are, are kind of a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> um, so, so you know, it, it's great for everyone else, uh, and it's great for me once I get up. But I, I, I was pretty uncomfortable for about 10 seconds. <laughs> you, guys, it it. you guys were like the team to beat pretty much almost all season. How were you guys able to hold it together and kind of live up to expectations? Yeah, I, I think just, just staying centered, uh, taking it day by day. Um, you know, the, there's no reason to get ahead of ourselves in this season. There's so many games and so much, so much can happen that you really just have to take it day by day, and that's what that's what Corps had told us. You know, it's a one-game tournament. Each game is for the championship. So for us going into Omaha, it was a Louisville tournament, and then it was a Mississippi State tournament. So. They're talking about this team as one of the greatest Legion baseball teams for one season of all time. They're, they're, people are saying Corbs is like the Nick Saban of SEC baseball. I mean, what do you what do you think about when you hear these kind of accolades? Oh, that, that, that's absolutely true. <laughs> I, mean, I think we're the best team of all time. It's amazing to be a part of it. Well, you lose but 12 one more question there, Chris. You have two elimination games. What's it like to deal with losing an elimination when you roll through a season like that with 59 wins? Those had to be moments that you weren't used to having. How do you deal with those when you have very limited time to react or your season is over? Yeah, I mean, we weren't used to having them, but at the same time, um, it just gave us confidence that we, we weren't really worried about it, you know? 
uh, we didn't lose two in a row very often this year, and uh, we weren't worried, and we had experience, and just took it day by day, and it worked out. Thank you Good. very much. Thanks, Thank you, buddy. Congratulations. That'll be it for now, everybody. Okay. <laughs>